Welcome to WWE 13 Custom Story Episode 8 High Stakes. I bring you SmackDown. Again, I am Monkey Terry 20XX, and well, let's get this one started. Alright, and if you remember on Raw, this guy, Crimson Nightmare, made a bet with Sheamus. See who wins tonight. And here is his opponent, Sheamus. Will he give up his spot at Royal Rumble against Big Show for the World Heavyweight title? We'll find out. Ring the bell, ref. Alright, let's get this one started. Alright, so, great takedown by Chris and Nightmare right there. Alright, so, let me get this started by saying, Merry Christmas, you guys. Hopefully you guys had a Merry Christmas. Uh, it's going to be a Happy New Year this week, I hope. And, well, the first week of the New Year will begin with Royal Rumble. And let me tell you, it's not gonna be a small video. It's not gonna be a medium video. It's gonna be an hour long spectacular. Yes, you heard it right, an hour long. Well, at least I hope that's how long it runs. I'm not sure if it's gonna be that long, but I'm hoping it does become that long. Again, it's a 30 man battle royale, well, over the top Royal Rumble, of course. And great suplex there by Crimson Nightmare. Delivered to Seamus. Oh, all right. Wasn't planning to do that, but I guess I had to anyways. Improvise. Oh, okay. Well, I thought if I connected with one, I would connect with another. All right. Three matches planned for Royal Rumble. Pay-per-view, uh, quote, unquote. But it's free for you guys because it's on YouTube, of course. And, well, of course, it is a custom story. So, it doesn't really matter to WWE business, so it won't contradict them. If anything, it might drive up sales for WWE games. Hopefully it does. Hopefully with all these videos that you're watching, it makes you want to go get that game because it is an awesome game. Look at this. Great graphics. Super dynamic. I mean... Super dynamic ring maneuvers, out of the ring maneuvers. Uh, it's it's the physics are really great in this mo in this game. They got the predator technology spot on in this one, and hopefully next year they get it even better and a lot a lot bigger. I mean, I see improvements here. I see you know they could have improved with a few things, but overall it's a great game. Go buy it, have fun, play me online. I'll get it. I'll, I'll get online every now and then and, you know, face some random opponents. But anyways, back to the Royal Rumble topic. It is going to be a spectacular, spectacular video because you can get to choose what, ma what match you want to see. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can watch the Royal Rumble. You can skip ahead to the Royal Rumble. You can skip ahead to the championship matches. It doesn't matter. But here are the three matches that are there. One, the Royal Rumble. Two, the World Heavyweight Championship match. And number three, yes, that's right, the WWE Championship match between The Rock versus John Cena. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? Neither can I, because it's false. It's not John Cena. Come on, John Cena is not the WWE Champion. The WWE Champion is the best in the world, CM Punk. Now, this match, it's going to go whichever way it goes. If The Rock wins, then there it is. As he's promised, he's going to be the WWE Champion. If it's CM Punk, if CM Punk wins at Royal Rumble, well, then he can prove to you once and for all that he is the best in the world. That just makes him so strong. Who knows? I know it works, though, whatever it is. Again, this first pay-per-view event will set the standard for all future pay-per-view events 
for this season of WWE 13, because I'm sorry, and when I say it's going to set the standard, I mean, I have to top this at Elimination Chamber, at WrestleMania, at SummerSlam, at, you know, No Way Out, if there is one, I'm not sure, I'm not completely positive on my pay-per-view events, but... Yes, those are the, that's going to be the standard, and you guys are going to, like, I mean, I, I am blown away by how much content I can fit into uh, one pay-per-view event, and I honestly think it's, uh, it's uh, too much sometimes, but at the same time, these little videos are too short sometimes, and I feel like I need to improve on content wise uh, I did read a comment that that was left in one of the videos and it said that it should you know episodes should have more dialogue uh, more you know you should have more writing into it and I will I, I mean I'm gonna try to add all this super content super super jam-packed content content into this um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing side stories. Uh, I know I want to do, you know, regular stories with just, you know, my character, but I don't want to uh, deviate from that. I, I want to keep following Crimson Nightmare, not following other characters. Here we go, setting up for the finisher. RKO, standard neck breaker for me, uh, you know, jumping neck breaker. Um, I am in the works of creating a finisher. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you can click to the subscribe button up here. But in all fairness, um, I am going to be truthful with you. I had something downloading and I wanted to cover it up. And that was the only way I could cover it up by adding a subscribe button. So please subscribe. Uh, I know I have, you know, a few of you viewers that, you know, are hardcore WWE fans and they feel like I'm not doing this justice and doing the WWE justice and they're covered oh close close real close all right but they feel like I'm not doing justice to the WWE and I feel like I'm I haven't been a hundred percent you know open with my character Crimson Nightmare okay I can't jump out all right but I have been trying to, you know, find a way to not give it all away in just a matter of two videos. I want to, I want the viewers to keep guessing it a little bit as to who this character is and why he's, you know, doing what he's doing and why he's attacking these superstars. Oh, no. No. Fatal mistake. Oh my god. Well, not fatal, but. Oh man. Oh, I thought Seamus was going to put me through the table. Woo. He does have a finisher, and he's going to do it. Oh no, no. I know I can kick out of this. I know I can. As long as he. Oh. Alright, come on. Oh, I had a comeback. One, two, three. Ah. Well, guys, I mean, that's the name of the episode, High Stakes. You never know if you're going to be able to win or not. But now I have to change a few competitors in the Royal Rumble. And, uh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna have to take out my character. So I guess I will not be able to participate in the Royal Rumble, which gives me a chance to go for the WWE Championship. And now Sheamus has to go against Big Show for the World Heavyweight Championship at Royal Rumble. Alright guys, thank you for joining me on SmackDown. I will see you later. Wait, why is Heath Slater in the ring? What? Still has beef with me? Fine. Let's, let's do this. Oh, here comes Cody... Cody Rhodes attacking me? I guess I deserve it for attacking him before, but I mean, come on. The numbers game, really? Here comes 
Kane and Daniel Bryan, team hell no. Like, what? What's going on here, man? They're all in cahoots. They all want to take me out for what I did to them. We'll bring it on. Oh, and the numbers game catch up to Crimson Nightmare. Oh, man. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I will have more news on to what's going on with Crimson Nightmare. And please subscribe so you can watch Royal Rumble, the big extravaganza, next week. Don't miss the Royal Rumble next week. You will see some surprise superstars.